All right, well, we'll move on to the weather. I've got nothing that dramatic. I <laughs> probably won't stick the landing, but I'll give it a shot. Let's take a look, see what we got going outside this morning. Radar is quiet except for southwestern Ohio. Some moisture going to sneak its way up toward Greene County. In fact, it looks right now like it's in the southwestern part of Greene County to the southwest of Xenia. So I'll bring the radar just in a little bit so you can see that area. Uh, there's Xenia, and again, a few showers just to the south and west of there as you get down towards Spring Valley and further to the south. But uh, nothing major in terms of thunderstorms is slowly going to creep its way uh, north here over the next couple of hours and then that whole system is going to move in from the west as we go into the afternoon and evening. So even though you're probably not thinking about it this morning, you are going to need an umbrella for later today and you may want to plan on a little extra time and check ahead because there's as Aaron mentioned too, a lot of outdoor events going on this evening and heading into the weekend. So weekend should be good this evening could be a little problematic in terms of rain, but that's where it is this morning. Well to the out of this area here where we've had a flash flood watch for several days. They really haven't had any heavy rain yet, but still anticipating some and because of the geography of this area again, flash flooding can be an issue, so they put that up kind of as a precaution. Right now, 72 degrees. It is muggy. At this point, I don't even need to say that this week. That has been the norm. What I should comment on, like uh, having Powell Road open again, is when it's not muggy. We'll see when that happens. Should be a little bit better over the weekend. Upper 60s and low 70s in and around town. 63 at Galena, 68 at Black Lake, 69 at Whitehall. And then you're in the upper 60s at Grandview Heights and Tuttle Mall and Galloway. Low 70s over on the hilltop this morning and at Marion Village and Obet. So kind of mixed, but still temperatures pretty warm for the season. Central Ohio, you go down to 66 at Delaware, 67 at Marysville and London. Low 70s until you hit Newark, where it's 69 degrees this morning. For the state, I'm all about this. I could deal with that 55 degrees at Youngstown this morning, so a little clearer, a little cooler. Whole northern part of the state is shade cooler than everybody else. You come south and you've got generally 60s, 68 at Marietta this morning and 64 down south at Portsmouth. Well, aside from last Saturday, we've not been below average, which is 83 degrees, and we spent a good chunk of those week way above that. 94 degrees as of Wednesday, but yesterday dropped 10 off that today. We may be a shade cooler than that. Pretty close to that average high of 83. That's what I'm going with this afternoon. Until then, mostly cloudy, kind of muggy, generally dry through the noon hour, but into the afternoon and evening. That's when we get into showers and storms, especially like after two or three o'clock. Last three hours, again, this moisture here, some storms in the upper Midwest. For once this week, at least, there isn't any major storm activity going on in the overnight. Here we are at noon. It's encroaching a little bit from the west. We get into the afternoon. This puts it off maybe till 4 or 5, but I think really any time afternoon, especially as we get toward 2, 3, 4, the rain chances go up, so evening commute easily could be affected. Popcorn pops going on tonight, a, co a concert over at Lifestyle Community Pavilion, so there's a lot of stuff going on, and again, we could see some rain for that, but it should move out of here in time for the weekend. Pride Parade going on tomorrow. Uh, Pride Festival continues. Should be good to go for all the activities over the weekend. Saturday, 84 degrees uh, Sunday, 86 morning lows in the low to mid 60s. Monday warming up again, but still kind of sunny. Tuesday brings the next chance for showers and storms. That one may actually cool us off a little bit as we go toward the middle of next week, guys.